Well, day three. Yep. Here we go. Ready or not, somebody's going home today, I bet. Yes. It's happening. It's happening today. I'm a little concerned. Yeah? Yeah. My arms are sore. My arms are sore. My grasp is not 100%. So if there's anything that's going to be lifting, carrying, pulling, trying to, you know, grip, it's going to be rough for me today. I got you. You got me? <laughs> You know, lift me up. Yeah. <laughs> and the other thing is, um, I had to take it easy the next couple of days on my voice. I've been yelling and hooping and hollering and, you know, excited about everything and cheering for everybody and starting to feel a little raspy. Yeah. So we're fueling up this morning with crunch berries. <laughs> I'm having a protein bar. <laughs> You're fueling I'm fueling up with crunch berries <laughs> this morning. Uh, we don't know what's in store for us today. No, but it's an early day today. A little bit earlier than yesterday. So it makes me wonder if we're field tripping. We yeah. probably might be headed somewhere, yeah. Because we had to get up earlier than the past two days. Maybe some off-site stuff. So yeah. we're doing okay, though. We're still doing okay on power. We're doing pretty well yeah. on water consumption, I feel like. Yeah. Propane we're burning through a little bit because it's cooler at night. Yeah. In the 40s we got to keep it a certain temperature in here for scout but that's why we brought extra tanks yeah we brought extra <laughs> stuff i think we'll be okay yeah so we'll see if we do have to um run the space heater for a little bit you know we can and then we can run generator to recharge yeah. batteries if we if it comes to that um but for the most part we're doing good so we'll check back in at lunch time mm -hmm. if we're able to if we're here if for we're, lunch. If we're here for lunch and able to if not then we'll check in with you at the end of the day and recap all of the craziness that is probably going to ensue today yeah <laughs> the level of difficulty is getting higher and higher yeah and i honestly feel like uh, we've contributed not much <laughs> i know doesn't it feel like we really haven't done that i much? feel like i haven't contributed that much I mean, right. we did the we did the whole set up the chill zone yeah which i mean yeah you you move a couple right. things we looked for we looked for keys we set up the tent. We finished last and didn't find the keys. <laughs> and then we helped set up, which I just was reaching the high stuff. You had the height. Because yeah. I had no knowledge of how to set up the solar or anything like that. Yeah. And then... I drove. But that was the individual challenge, so that yeah. really doesn't contribute to the team. But no. you drove. We lost that. I didn't even get up on the wakeboard. So we really... We're not doing that well. <laughs> if, I, if I'm honest. We're not doing that well. We didn't come out the gate very strong. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We haven't done anything suited to our strengths yet. We might need to turn it up a notch. <laughs> if there's like a sleeping challenge, oh, Jesus. I'm going to crush it. <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping at some point there's some cornhole, because I have a natural God-given cornhole talent. Mm -hmm. I was just born with it. <laughs> I'm just naturally good at it. So if there's a cornhole, we got that. Yeah. Other than that, I don't know how we're going to do we got it. We got to contribute something today. They're probably gonna blow our ass off if we don't do something today. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll let you know oh, later. <laughs> See you in a minute. Well, today was intense. It today was crazy. We went and did the axe throwing, which was the team challenge today. We're gonna talk more about that. We pulled it off for the win. We'll talk more in detail at the end of the night tonight because we are on a, on a quick break. Uh, we got to start shooting again here in a little bit. And blue team is going to have to eliminate somebody tonight. So we're curious to see who they're going to eliminate. And so it's it's going to it's going to get real 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 fast. Does that makes sense. But in the meantime, since we won the challenge, we figured Scout deserved a treat. So Scout's going to get some hornworms for for a treat today. Scout is all team red. <laughs> Go team red. Look, mom. I'm unplugged. I'm unplugged. <laughs> Yeah. Want one more? Yeah, nom, yummy. Nom, 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 nom. Scout has been a uh, hit with uh, with our team anyway, and because we don't get to hang out with Blue Team a lot during the day, and that's you know during breaks on lunchtime we get to we get to bring Scout out, and we're normally like strategizing with the red team, so we don't get to see Blue Team a lot during the day, and then by the time we get to intermingle with the Blue Team. It's already past Scout's bedtime, but it's been awesome sharing Scout with the with the red team and letting him meet them and hang out because uh, he really is the only pet out here. Archer is a service animal. So he's not really a pet. So it's cool that we're able to keep him here and he's not like a dog, so we don't have to 
I have to let him out and take him for a walk. So very low maintenance. And because the temperatures have been pretty mild, we've been able to keep him. We were burning through more propane than we would have without him because we could have kept it a little cooler in the RV without him. But it's been worth burning a little extra propane. I think we're still going to be okay on what we brought. So it's worth bringing Scout and especially for Leslie. Uh, she would have just been, I think it would have been a distraction for her in gameplay. And she would have been thinking about scout and what's he doing how's he doing she probably would have been you know texting her her mom or messaging her mom at the end of the night going hey what's going on is he okay and then you never really know you're not there she would have probably been trying to do like facetime with scout just to make sure he's good uh so it's better it's less of a distraction keeps us focused and scout gets to live in his home be comfortable with his surroundings that he has been familiar with for years and doesn't really change his routine that we're boom knocking. He has no idea that we're boom knocking. So it worked out really well. We're glad that we made the decision to bring Scout with us. Oh man, what a day, day three was. Mm -hmm. The drama unfolded more off camera than on. <laughs> this is true. Uh, let's talk, let's talk through it. Okay. Woke up ready to go. Yep. Ready to kick, kick some blue team ass. Yeah. And we did. We did. We went to do axe throwing. Yes. And we were Finally so happy. Finally something we're good at. We could, something we've <laughs> done before that we can do. Yeah. It's not wakeboarding. Uh, you know? Yeah. It's we not key finding. We had experience and we're decent at. Yeah. So I was like so excited. So we're like, this is going to be our wheelhouse. Man, we've done this a couple of times. Yeah. Have some experience. We've, we've gone out with some wagsters and done some yeah. wags throwing. So I'm like, all right, good. So they went over all the safety stuff and they let us throw a couple of times for safety reasons. Mm -hmm. Normally, most of the challenges, they don't let us do any practice right. or anything, but they did an axe throwing for safety purposes. Mm -hmm. They don't want people throwing axes behind them or whatever yeah, and hurt crazy. anybody. So they did that. We got five throws each. Yeah. And what they did was they put, um, you had two pieces of paper from each contestant individually. Yeah. On the targets of the other team's boards. Yeah. And But the names were on the back side of the see. paper. You so you didn't see. know whose paper was whose. So you just go try to hit a paper. You yeah. just try to knock off the other team. You have to slice the paper with the axe. If both your pieces of paper get hit, you're, you're out. out. And yeah. you're done. So we took our practices and then we stacked our team based on all right. How we did it. How we did in practice. So we had one person who hit all five or at least stuck the stuck axe the axe five yeah. times front loaded them and then the rest of us there was a lot of us that had four out of five so seven of us we who just kind of stacked in there the four out of fives and then we had a three out of five and a two out of five so that's how we did just in case they knocked out somebody really quickly yeah it would at least give our stronger players an opportunity to at least go correct it didn't work <laughs> i hit four out of five in my practice so did you yes but i was only i was a couple people in front of you, you were but i was like me. fifth in line to throw yeah and Talmadge from the Adventure Bandits gets up there. He was first one up. He goes up to his first target, wham, hits me. And they put it on the table. He moves over to he the next to target, the wham, hits me. <laughs> I'm out before I can even throw an axe. Yes, it was crazy. And I'm like, what Turn. the hell? Yeah, you got the shit out of that stick. I didn't even, and he told, I talked to him later on, and he said, and I said, where were the targets, man, did they? <laughs> and he said, the first one was way up high and I hit it, and the second one was way down low and I hit it. He should have played the lottery tonight, because that's some crazy so, odds. I you know, it was just dumb luck, and I just, yeah. I didn't get but a chance. But you were stoked to throw the axe. I was. I was stoked, because yeah. I, and I was feeling good, because I was over there when I practiced. I was actually aiming. Aiming for, for things. spots, and I was hitting what I was aiming for, and I'm like, I can strategically take people out. Yeah didn't get to didn't even try happen. it and then so I did pretty decent <laughs> how many did you hit I took two people out nice yeah very good so Leslie's contributing she's the only <laughs> person contributing from our team so far in any of the competitions yeah to date <laughs> I have contributed <laughs> none and then so we did the coaches challenge mm -hmm. where Phil and Stacy you know head-to-head -head on the shooting challenge which I didn't think it was very no, fair. No, Red Team was like, that's not fair. He's a professional shooter. <laughs> I mean, he was law enforcement for 20 years. He was SWAT. She was He's not been... going to beat him. She's a nurse. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like 
the equivalent of an IV challenge. Let's yeah. start an IV. Yeah, Phil would not Stacey know what to do. Stacey would kick her, he'd kick his ass. Yeah. So I was like, that was kind of messed up. Yeah. But you're at the mercy of the venue and what they have to offer. Offered. And so that was, it is what it is. They won burgers and it's fine. Yeah. But we were just stoked to win the elimination we, challenge because yes. Rachel. That was a huge deal. Stepped off. Rachel rocked it. Oh my God. Yeah, took she's, out the last two. She's the chips are down girl. And then we went to the cook, the kick darts. Yeah. And I kicked because I didn't even get to throw an axe. And yeah. um, not that I'm making any excuses, but those balls were not. <laughs> they were different. Once they were different. I got different. to hold one, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was a soccer player for lots and lots of years when I was a kid. I kicked for you know, in football for a, for a while and. It didn't kick like a regular ball. No. It actually hurt when I got to play with it later. It hurt your toe to kick. And I kicked with my toe. Well, and I kicked like a like a soccer player or a, or a place kicker would, and I couldn't get any lift. Yeah. And so if you kick with your toe, you lose your accuracy. Yeah. You get lift, but you don't get accuracy. You have no idea where it's going. And if you kick with the side of your foot, I wasn't getting any lift or elevation. Even though I was, I was altering the angle of my foot, and I was trying to get under the under the ball under without the kicking the ground. Yeah. You kick the ground, you lose your momentum. But there was no lift. I was hitting the target straight on, but it yeah. was just skid across it's the ground the and it ran on the front of the yeah. target. Even lost my shoe. Yes, that was hilarious. And my shoe went directly <laughs> right in front of the target also. So I know my my kicking leg was lined up. Yeah. Uh, I had my aim good. I just couldn't get any lift on the ball. Yeah. And then so, the blue teams going to elimination. Yeah. I will tell you this, win, lose, or draw, no matter what, we are having a heck of a time. Yes. We are having fun, we are meeting great people, people. and we are really having the time of our life. Yes. And we're on our third night boondocking. Yeah. Tonight we'll tie the record for the longest we've ever gone dry camping. <laughs> yes. Tomorrow, if we get to stay tomorrow night, if we get to stay tomorrow <laughs> night, we'll break the record. <laughs> if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, Everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. Appreciate you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.